Hey y'all, this is Green Monsters 83 with another speed build from The Sims. This house is a house that I saw on a recent trip uh, to Duluth. Um, granted, I only saw the outside of the house, so I took a lot of liberties on the inside of the house and the backyard. And I also put it in Strangerville, <laughs> which is not Duluth, Minnesota. So um, I really liked just the way that the front of the house was designed, I was like, that would be so cool in The Sims. So I made it. Uh, the entryway, let's see if I can go first person mode on here. The entryway was kind of cool because you just like, there's this bricked area, which I was like, wow, that's kind of cool, the way that they have that. So um, I tried to recreate it as best as I could from like just my memory of seeing it um, driving by um, and then I just put in oh I did put ceilings in nice um, kind of entryway stuff and a little desk for the entryway stairs going upstairs I don't believe I put a basement in this one I didn't. in fact I know I didn't put a basement in it all right, there is a bathroom right here, just kind of a small one with fancy fixtures. And I kind of made this open area. Um, and again, I, I've never seen the inside of this house, so uh, <laughs> I took a lot of liberties and I was like, this could be a nice music room. So I put in a grand piano, some rocking chairs, and over here we have a nice little area with a fireplace and then I with those beautiful windows in the front I was like that's got to be the dining room so I created the dining room in here and wow that's kind of a nice view you can see the house that I made across the way that's kind of nice and then in this back portion of the house I put the kitchen really like these seamless counters. I kind of wish they didn't have like a, a cabinet underneath for the, um, the bar area, but you know, what, what do I know? Um, so I tried to make it look a little rustic, but also kind of chic in here. I love these windows from the growing up area. And I like how like, you can kind of push them together to make like a cooler window. So that's what I did. All right. So then if we go upstairs, ooh, no, up, up the stairs, up the stairs. So there is, um, Stairs going upstairs as well. There's a little like attic area. So when you come into the landing, we've got um, over here a nice nursery area with some nice big windows. I was playing with color with this one. I was like, hmm, I wonder how this this wallpaper would work. Um, I don't use a lot of the crazy wallpapers, um, but I think it worked out pretty well there. Um, next to the nursery, we have a bedroom, taking full advantage of that bay window. Lots of greenery in here. It's like, hmm, it's kind of deserty outside. We should bring in some greenery. There's a little nook next to the stairs that has the washing machine and the like. Over here is the bathroom with a little nook for this shower. And then through this door, there's another bedroom. And I tried to make this one more like teen bedroom. So I use a lot of the high school um, materials in here, or materials, furniture in here. Um, 
And then the, let's see. I did not do much with the upstairs. I just kind of left it open. It could be another bedroom. It could be kind of like a rec area. You could just put a bunch of attic -y stuff up there. Um, but it's a kind of a nice space. Um, not large enough to put a huge amount of stuff up there, but it could definitely be a bedroom with a little bathroom if you wanted to. Just like any of my builds, this build is available on the Sims 4 Gallery. So if you like this house and want to download it for your, your um, Sims, you definitely can. It has a lovely swimming pool in the back and a porch. So you could definitely put out like barbecue stuff or whatever it is that you want your, your Sims to be maxing out their skills on. It's just kind of a nice space. Again, I was using some of the um, the plants and objects from the the I can't even think of it show show hidden objects and show live edit objects cheats. Um, so this one is called Agave Tutor uh, of the Tutor styling and the fact that it's in the desert. So if you like this one, go ahead and go to the Sims 4 Gallery and download it for your Sims. And I do hope you enjoy this speed build, and I'll see you next time.